Hey, a pleasant good day, Royals fans. This is today's edition of the Royal Takers. We're previewing the Wooster Railers versus the Reading Royals. Please continue to subscribe down below uh, to help us get to 195 for end of January goal or above on the easy-to-use widget. So let's get right into it. Reading Royals beat them 2 to nothing back on the 31st, lost 5-3 to on the 2nd, beat them 3-2 to on the 7th, and beat them 6-2 to on the 8th. So they're looking good against Wooster of late. They just need to keep that going, and they smacked around the Anirondack Thunder 6-2 to last game as well. So the Royals are obviously trending in the right direction and goaltender Pat Nagel also made Team USA, so claps up for him. Everything really going in the right direction. Trevor Goodson's coming here, got some nice assists to Nagel. Braden Lowe's playing great. Bykov's got his scoring touchback, won the player of the week. Jacob Pritchard made the all-star team, rightfully so. So everything's trending in the right direction for this Royals team, and it's also trending in the right direction um, for this Royals team when it comes to overall standings. As well, where when we check in on the league standing, the Reading Royals are now in second at 25 games played, 13, 7, and 4, and 1, with 31 points. Where Newfoundland, who looked like early in the season they were going to run away with the division, is 15, 5, and 2, with 32 points. So they're only one point behind the division lead. Um, the Newfoundland Growers do at games at hand, which is three, so that factors in as well. We always have to think of the games at hand, the amount of games the team hasn't played compared to your team. That factors in almost as big as points to the standings, because if they win those three games, they haven't played that six points right there for Newfoundland, and they're really then seven points ahead. It just looks like they're one point ahead, so to speak. So that's just a realist way of uh, putting it. But in terms of looking at it, the last half full, which is true, this Royals team hasn't been proven they haven't been playing very well. And they look like, as Hector said on my video <clears throat> a couple weeks ago when I had a super fan on, they look like they definitely, if they can play at this pace and keep up this pace of play, now you're not always going to score six goals, but I'm just saying the good, efficient play in both zones throughout the game, playing much better um, on the puck, not losing the puck as easily as sometimes earlier in the season. If they can play those types of game, they do look like a Kelly Cup contending team. That's for damn sure. They just have to be consistent. Earlier in the season, this team was more similar to the Flyers. They were roller coasters. The Phantoms were just bad. Um, and then now we're picking it up. The Reading Royals were winning, but then would have that time in the games like Kirk would hit at where they would fall off, and that's why they would lose a particular game. So they were still roller coastery. Where now they're hot as hell. So hopefully that hot as hell can stick for Reading because if they can stay at that and they can keep continuing to do this, those games at hand, they're going to make them not matter because they're going to keep winning and going up enough points that they're that they're just going to equal them out or be a game back if you're uh, the Newfoundland Growlers, if Redding keeps winning. So Redding has to keep winning to make those three games at hand, or keep getting points at least, to make those three games at hand not really matter and not make it look like it's really more than one point in the standings. But either way, they're trending in the right direction. They're playing great, much better in the neutral zone. They really have been playing good jamming Wooster each game. They played in an Anirondack last game, not allowing them to get much offensive uh, chances whatsoever through the neutral zone. The Royals have really been playing aggressive in the neutral zone and shutting that down. That's the first key to success to win again tonight. The second is always going to be you just got to get good goaltending no matter who it's from. Uh, Kazanabe from uh, when Pat Nagel was down and from Hayden Hawkey, no matter who's in net, you always have to get good goaltending and have a good chance to win in any level of um, hockey. And then the third key going forward for this game is you got to continue to play. I, I, I talked about it earlier in the video, but you have to continue to play that smash mouth neutral zone hockey and jam the teams in the neutral zone. Have that lead to your offense. Have a, have you get a steal. Have it be, lead to an on-man rush. Or have great net, behind net play as well. I make this a two-part key. The behind the net play has been great of late, too. Getting the assists and front from behind the net. Continue to have great neutral zone jamming, great behind the net play, great goaltending. Um, and this team is going to be continuing to go places. And that's where I see this Reading Royals team right now. They're trending really in the right direction. They're the best organizational team in the Flyers organization right now between the Phantoms in terms of play, the Flyers and the Reading Royals. And they're trending the most in the right direction. The Phantoms are playing much better and well with a point streak, but the Reading Royals are not only finding ways to get points, they're finding ways to flatten teams uh, with wins like they did against Adirondack and Wooster 6-2. to two. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. This has been a preview to the Reading Royals versus Wooster Railers and their keys to winning not just the first game tonight, but also tomorrow, the keys to winning the weekend and sweeping the Wooster Railers and continuing to dismantle them minus the one game um, in this season series. A so peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 195 the end of January. Goal, go Royals. Let's pick up another win tonight. Peace out, everyone.